Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting question on the Power BI and this is very commonly asked question and you will be applying this very commonly in your day to day work as well, right? So very important video. What we need to do is we need to find top end customers with dynamic metrics, right? So there are two things dynamic here. One is that you want top five customers by profit right so you say top five customers by profit if you want top three customers by profit it is all dynamic right if you want by sales right it is giving you by sales and the value as well right so it is fully dynamic the top end value you can choose top 10 it will give you top 10 this is based on sales if you choose profit then it will be profit if you choose number of orders then it will be based on number of orders right so this is what we will be implementing today right it will be a lot of fun uh, trust me and watch this video till end and please like the video uh, because after every thousand like i will uh, publish the next video okay so what we will do first first we will just get top let's say top five by sales so we will hard code five as well as we will hard code sales first right? once that is done then we will see how we can dine make it dynamic right instead of hard coding five and sales how we can choose a metric and how we can choose a top 10 top three top five okay so what i'll do i'll move to another window uh, flash window right and we will implement from scratch so quickly look at the data we have the same data that we used in the last video order id order date product id and one customer obviously can have multiple orders okay so for top five right i have created a video i will tag it but i will do it quickly how to get top five customers by sales so let's get customer right and let's get sales so i have created three measures if you see this is total sales just sum of sales this is total profit sum of profit and this is total orders distinct count of order id because uh, we have data at order id and product id level so we want distinct count so what we will do we are doing sales so let's take sales here right that's it let me zoom in little bit okay now i want top five by total sales right top five by total sales so what i'll do i'll create a new column uh, using rank x so let's create it and call it rn right i want to create a rank so i will say rank x right now table is my orders table right so let's call it orders table and my expression is based on what so based on total sales i want to generate a rank right this is this is what you have to give by default it is in descending order so i am not giving anything right and let's see what, what will happen so if you see uh, then if i take it is giving me one 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 the reason is because of the context filter context so what it is doing for customer id it is taking just customer id this sm203200 and giving the rank so there is one customer the rank will be one this is also only one customer rank will be one this is also one customer rank will be one and this we discussed earlier in previous video as well so what we have to do we have to tell that consider all the customers right just we have to ignore the filter context here of customer id so i will say consider all customers right so we'll take customer id and close it and that's it right? once i do that it is everything is fine right i'm getting the proper rank one two three four five six till whatever we have 186 customers right so this is fine now what i will do i will create one more column right let's create a new measure and i will say top n let's call it top n right and in this i will put up a filter and i will say if rn right this is the rn just we created rank less than or equal to 5 right we are hard coding 5 for now right then give me total sales right again total sales we are hard coding we'll, we'll, we'll make it dynamic don't worry and then i will say if it is false then blank i don't want blank right okay great so i will just take this top end right and you see we are getting only top end sale right so what i will do i will remove r then 
and total sales as well right so if you see we are getting top 5 customers because everything every other measure is blank i mean top and everything is blank so it doesn't show but there is a problem in total right that we will not discuss i have discussed in one of the video i'll tag it you can see how to fix the total because it is giving me total value not just for these top 5 it is based on requirement as well maybe in requirement you have to show total value so that user can see um, as a percentage of total how much around my top 5 customers are right but that's fine based on requirement we can do it i will tag the video so that you can see how to fix this total for now let's focus on making it dynamic right we we will make it dynamic so currently it is top 5 and based on sales right now we have to make it dynamic like this that either top 5 top 10 or metric right so let's make dynamic this first top end right so i should be able to get this either top 5 top 3 top 10 okay so what we will do we will create a table in that table we will have three values top 5 top 3 top 10 and this we will use with for, with a slicer okay so i will go here on the table view right and i will say new table okay and here i will say choose top n this will be my table name right and it will have three values so i will say top 5 top 3 or let's call it top 3 first top 3 top 5 and third value will be top 10 right you can add as many values you want okay let's fix this choose okay and let's make some proper name let's call it top n okay so now i have created a table top n right choose top n will be the table name and user can choose any value here right so i will just go back here and i will select a filter slicer right this is my slicer now and in this slicer i will take this column top end column right so now here user can choose top 5 top 3 top 10 whatever right currently i have not integrated it right so it doesn't matter this is hard coded file but we have to integrate these two things so what we will do for this so if i go back to my calculation right if i go back to rn right here nothing i have not hard coded 5 here i have hard coded 5 in my top end right or let's call it metric value right let's call it metric value right currently it is sales but we will just see how to make it dynamic so this is my metric value now so here i have hard coded 5 so instead of 5 what i want to do whatever user chooses if he uses 10 chooses 10 then it should be 10 if 3 then 3 if top 5 then 5 so what we will do instead of 5 we will remove 5 and we will say switch right in the switch i will say selected value i'll just explain what i'm trying to do selected value of this column top n right okay so what i'm saying switch switch takes expression so it will take selected value so basically whatever you select that will go into this selected value choose top n so currently we have chosen top 10 so top 10 has gone in this in place of this the value will be top 10 if i choose top 3 in place of this full selected value choose top and top and top 3 will come right this, this is how you have to think right so now whatever value will come so what we have to say if the value is top 10 or let's say top 10 okay top 10 right then i am saying consider it is as 10 right if it is top 5 then consider it as 5 right and by default the last value you can give that if otherwise 3 right so there are 3 values basically so i am saying if user chooses top 10 right switch switch means take this value and search here if it is top 10 then consider it as 10 right that 5 we had hard coded instead of that 
if it is top 5 then consider as 5 otherwise 3 because we have only 3 values right so let me just click here and that's it i think yeah if you see i have chosen top 10 so it is going here and giving me 10 if i say top 3 it will give me top 3 and if i choose top 5 it is giving me top 5 okay so first problem is solved right now the next problem is dynamic metric so again what we will do we will go to the table view we will create one more uh, one more table so we will say choose metric right and here we will have three values right first value is sales In double quotes we have to put sales second value is uh, profit right and third value is orders right so user can choose anything that they want top five by sales top five by profit or top five by orders there are three values only and let's call it metric okay so this is my metric now great so let's go back here report view right and now uh, get this one more um, slicer let's make it little small let's take it here yeah and we will put choose metric column here okay so we have three values now again we have not integrated it so whatever we choose doesn't matter right so let's integrate it okay so now if i go back to my calculation again there are two calculations right first is rn see in rn also we have to make it dynamic currently it is total sales so if user chooses profit i have to use total profit if user chooses orders we have to choose total orders and if sales then total sales right and also in the second uh, measure that we have right which is metric value here also we have total sales right here also it has to be dynamic so th this dynamicity is there at two places. so what we will do we will create a separate measure to decide that which metric user has chosen and that that measure we will use here right so let's create another measure maybe in here also anywhere we can create new measure and i will call it selected measure right okay so selected measure is equal to again we will use switch right so we will say we take here switch right now again selected value same thing selected value of which of metric right this metric column right okay okay so if user has chosen what if user has chosen let's say profit right then i will use total profit right this is how it is this is the column we need to use if user chooses orders right then we will say total orders right else i will give by default if user is not choosing anything then by default take sales right and that's it okay so this is my selected measure now all good right so this is my selected measure now what we have to do in the calculation in the rn right instead of total sales i will say take value from selected measure right this, instead of hard coding total sales i am taking taking selected measure right which is driven by what we select here similarly similarly in the metric value i will say in the metric value i will say instead of total sales right take selected measure right that's it okay so if you see it is changing now automatically so metric value let me sort it right you see this is profit total profit right you can check manually if i choose sales then automatically it is by sales so they are different customers right also that profit uh, they are these are the customers which gives maximum profit these customers gives me maximum most sales right again if i want top three top three right so this is how it is working top 10 top 10 right 
so if i go back to orders this is based on orders so there are three orders these are 222 orders so most of the customers have 2222 orders here right so which is fine right so all of them will come because rank will be all 1222222222 so which is fine in general we won't have this scenario that is the scenario we have to break the tie using some column but which is fine right we were able to do what we wanted right i hope it makes sense uh, the power bi file link you can get it from the description box and please like the video uh, have a good day